Hello and welcome, it's me Faiza. Um, so this video will be a continuation of the previous one where I was talking about some challenges I faced during my first year in Europe and now I'm gonna tell you about how I solved those problems and how I became mentally stronger. So if you guys are interested then keep watching. <laughs> So if you remember in my first video I was always talking about the problems and challenges I faced and now I'm gonna tell you about three ways which helped me integrate into Lithuania. Well, I can honestly say that the first step was the most challenging. It was awareness. I think the majority of us, if not everyone, would accept the fact that people are usually afraid of what they do not know. And remember that in the previous video I said that Lithuanians haven't seen a lot of Muslims before and the things which they have heard about us were most probably from the media and I think we can imagine what kind of things media tells people about Muslims and considering all those thoughts and ideas I accepted that and I understood uh, that people there would most probably have some stereotypes after accepting this things were way easier for me I think at this point it's also very important to say that my other foreign friends who were non-Muslims were also facing some stereotypes or sometimes even racism. So then it was clear for me that the problems and the challenges I was facing wasn't, because, wasn't necessarily only because of my Muslim identity, but maybe it was also because that Lithuanians haven't seen a lot of foreigners before. And after understanding this, what I did was socializing. I literally was in every event that I heard from my friends and I, that, I, that I saw from the internet. So whenever there was an event or anything, what my friends would be like, Faiza, hey, we're going to have an, an, an event, would you like to join us? I was like, yeah, of course, why not? And of course, my intention in joining all the events wasn't uh, to show people that, oh yeah, Faiza is very active, Faiza is very social. No, I didn't even care about what people thought. What I wanted to show people was that a hijab-wearing Muslim girl can be as active as a non-Muslim girl. You know, she can be, in, she can attend any events she wants, she can be as free as other people. So the first step, awareness, was okay. I was aware that people had some stereotypes and maybe it was normal for them to have stereotypes because they haven't seen people, Muslim people before. The second step was at least as important as the first one. It was learning the language. That's why I directly registered to a Lithuanian language course. You know, even though Lithuanian isn't spoken by a lot of people, I wanted to show Lithuanians that a Muslim girl respects their country, she respects their language, and therefore she learns it. And Lithuanian is a very, very tough language with a long history of grammar. And when I say I learned the language, I don't mean that I learned it in a very fluent way. No, it was actually some basic things. Daily language, I would say, it was in B1 level. And with this B1 level, what I did was sitting in bus stations. And when I say sitting in the bus stations, I don't mean just sitting there the whole day doing nothing. No, it was just when I was waiting for the bus, I didn't sit quietly, but instead I talked to people. And these people were usually old women. Because I knew that they're the ones who need to speak because they usually were alone. So at least they would have someone to chat with and I would be practicing my Lithuanian. So we would chat about very random topics. You know, how was the weather? How do you feel like today? How was your health? And, you know, it's, it's very interesting that before talking to these people, they were usually, they weren't very willing to talk. But then after speaking for a couple of minutes, we literally became friends. And I ended up having a lot of old friends. And even some of them gave me their phone numbers so that I would call them in my free time. And they were nice friends. And of course, after joining a lot of events and socializing, learning the language, uh, one day a person from the Lithuanian National Drama Theater called me and she asked me if I would like to act in a play which would aim at stopping or, you know, fighting against xenophobia and racism in Lithuania. 
and the play was going to be held every, one, every month and sometimes twice a month. So I was literally going to be able to talk in front of hundreds of people and show them that I can communicate, that I can speak in English and that I am educated. And we as the actors were also sometimes uh, were invited to some interviews and there were some articles written about us. I decided to participate because uh, I think people need to know more about what's going on with foreigners in Lithuania because we are facing challenges and I think uh, these challenges should be addressed and people should be aware of those things. So actually we were given an opportunity to tell people about, all our, about our experiences and about our stories and the challenges that we are facing. So those three things I think I listed for. Those are the main things which helped me integrate into Lithuania and actually made me love Lithuania because at the beginning I said I usually used to cry and sometimes I was even depressed but then at the end I loved Lithuania and before leaving Lithuania I cried in the plane. I really loved my friends, the environment that I had there. And the biggest lesson from all those things which I experienced was accepting people as they are and respecting them. Because at the beginning I thought that Lithuanians are cold to me and that they... that maybe all of them have racism against me. But then it turned out that no. I accepted that they are relatively cold compared to us because maybe of the weather or because of what they're experiencing. I mean, I don't know what people experience, so I respected that and I accepted that. I don't know if you guys are also experiencing somewhat similar things. For example, if you're living abroad and you cannot find friends because of your race, I don't know, gender, ethnicity, whatever it is, religion. I think as long as we accept ourselves and as long as we are friendly with ourselves, and we accept what's happening around us and we act based on that, I think things will become easier. Another very important lesson I learned from my stay in Lithuania was the importance of communication. Because I think whether we accept it or not, we, we all have some stereotypes and sometimes we think that those stereotypes are real. And as long as we do not interact with those people whom we have stereotypes about, then we will keep having those ideas in our brains. And the only thing it will do is harming us and harming our relationships with the others. So I think if we notice that we have some wrong ideas or some bad ideas about the other, then maybe we should try communicating that. Maybe we should try understanding why we think in this way and maybe asking the, that person, not necessarily directly, you know, you can understand um, the reason behind acting in that way. And based on my own experience, uh, I think we will end up understanding that those ideas were just some stereotypes and we will end up respecting that person in front of us. Those were some of the very basic steps which I took to uh, integrate into Lithuania. But again, some people might have some different experiences or maybe my ways wouldn't work with others. Maybe there are some better ways. That's of course definitely possible. Um, in the coming videos, I really want to talk about some stereotypes which different cultures have against each other. And maybe also I'm going to talk about my own stereotypes which, had, which I had against Europeans and which turned out to be wrong. At the end of the video, I really want to wish for something which is very important for all of us. I wish that we all learn how to accept each other as we are and respect each other's values. And so I hope that we all learn how to communicate with each other. I don't know what you guys think about this video, so please leave me a feed feedback in the comments below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care guys and see you in the coming video.